again, why is this useful? We're just getting back out the means. It doesn't seem all that interesting. But because it's useful, because we can then throw other things into the multivariate regression model to adjust for that, those covariates and confounders or to get better predictions. For example, let's say I was to throw age into the model to try to get age-adjusted means for each of those vitamin D groups, age being a potential confounder here. So to adjust for age, I'm just going to throw age into the model. Nothing tricky. And here's the model that comes out when I add age to the model. So it's showing me that, again, the normal group is the reference group, so it doesn't get a beta coefficient. Now I get an effect for age, and now I get what are age-adjusted beta coefficients. These have now been adjusted for age. Interestingly, these are made up data, and so in the process of making up the data, I built in something a little funny, which is that the deficient group after you adjust for age actually looks like it has more, a higher cognitive score than the normal group. So when, maybe that group was totally full of much older people, and once you account for the fact that they're much older, then their, their, deficient, uh, their deficiency in vitamin D is actually associated with a greater uh, DSST score. That's a quirk, I think, of the fact that I made up the data a certain way. So that's the final model. But what's great about this is now I can report age-adjusted means for those groups. And this is just showing the picture here. Again, this is showing the slopes in each of the three groups for the relationship between uh, age and DSST scores here that you can see that in all three groups, certainly age uh, is, when we built this in in the model, this is just kind of showing you the model. So age, as age goes up, you go down in your cognitive function for sure. Interestingly, as I mentioned, though, once you account for age, the deficient group, that's this blue line, actually seems to, across all different ages, have a little bit higher of a, of a, of a cognitive score. Might be a quirk of my made-up data. And I can calculate these age-adjusted means. The, the easiest way to calculate the age-adjusted means is just to imagine that everybody has the same age. You have to pick an age to plug into the model. So say, let's plug in the mean age for the whole data set, which was here, 55 years old. So I can get the expected average DSST value for a vitamin D deficient, D deficient person who's 55 years old by plugging all that into the model. So we can just plug in this model to find out the expected DSST score for somebody who's vitamin D deficient and is 55 years old. So we're fixing age so that age is the same across these three groups. That person has an expected score of 36. Somebody who is insufficient, who's at 55 years old, based on this model, is predicted to have a DSST score of 29.1. And for the normal group, a 55-year-old is actually predicted to be lower and have a DSST score of 27.7. Again, probably a quirk of my made-up data. But it's nice to have these age-adjusted means because you can then report the unadjusted means and the age-adjusted means. You can see it totally flipped the relationship here once we accounted for age. And that might be uh, something funny in my made-up data.